Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 8.1 fully untethered on all devices. Yes, the day is finally here, sort of. Now, as I alluded to preceding the intro for this tutorial, there is somewhat of a catch to today's jailbreak, considering the fact that Sarik, the creator of Cydia, has yet to update either Cydia or Cydia Substrate, the two main components that enable the distribution of third-party tweaks via one unified graphical distribution platform, again being Cydia, this jailbreak will merely enable root access and SSH, which is by default the very rudimentary definition of an actual jailbreak. So essentially, this tool will merely enable root access. So while it won't necessarily be for your everyday user as of now, it is intended for jailbreak developers to update their tweaks and to update things like Cydia and Cydia Substrate in Sarek's case for use on iOS 8. Now, with that being said, because most of you, like myself, probably aren't jailbreak developers, you can essentially jailbreak now to take advantage of this current opportunity because we have absolutely no clue when Apple will release an updated 8.1.x firmware to patch the vulnerabilities that Pangu has exploited in their all new utility to achieve an untethered jailbreak. And then at a later point in time, you'll be able to install Cydia either via SSH, which at that point I will create an updated guide to install Cydia on an already jailbroken device using this version of Pangu, or you'll actually be able to install it through what Pangu has added into this new utility. So with that being said, while this jailbreak is for everyone in the future, it's mostly intended for jailbreak developers as of now, and it definitely won't be what you're accustomed to if you're not a jailbreak developer. Again, one last time, it won't be what you're used to at all, but at a later point, when Cydia is made available, you will be able to use what you've done today, i.e. your new jailbreak, to allow your device to not only install Cydia, but also jailbreak tweaks in the future. Now also to provide some really quick info on the utility itself, which is Pangu for iOS 8, it's actually from the same team that brought us the untethered iOS 7.1 through 7.1.2 utility called Pangu. So here we have the first iteration of Pangu for iOS 7, followed by the updated version, which was just released today for iOS 8. I will have a link for you guys down below in the more info that not only contains written details on Pangu, but it will also have a download link for you guys, which by the way is exclusive to Windows for now. So I have Windows running here on my computer, and if you're on Mac or OS X, you will either be able to run it in a virtual environment or you'll be able to actually boot into a separate partition that has Windows installed, and you'll be able to jailbreak that way. Just ensure that you have the link latest version of iTunes installed as well, as that's also a requirement. And once you have all of those three things, again being a Windows computer, Pangu, and the latest version of iTunes, you will be able to proceed with this tutorial to essentially future-proof your device for what will be an incredible jailbreak on iOS 8. So having said all of that, this new utility will function on the following devices. The iPad 2, the third generation iPad, the fourth generation iPad, the iPad Air, the original iPad mini, the iPad mini with retina display, or the second generation iPad mini, the iPad mini 3, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5C, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, as well as the fifth generation iPod Touch, which is actually what I'm going to be using to demonstrate with in this video. I'm not actually going to jailbreak my iPhone 6 Plus. I'll save that for a later point in time. So again, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak on the iPod Touch fifth generation here. And let me just really quick go inside of settings general about and down below at the bottom for the version you will notice that I am indeed running iOS 8.1 you can see the version does confirm that there and now let's go ahead and refocus also one other prerequisite if you did update to iOS 8.1 via Apple's over-the-air OTA software update option you may very well encounter issues Pangu has even said so themselves so what you're going to have to do is first open up iTunes back up your device restore to a 
a clean build of 8.1 jailbreak using Pangu for iOS 8, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. And then from there, restore from your backup inside of iTunes after jailbreak. And that way it will ensure that you don't encounter any issues. And again, once jailbroken, you will essentially future proof your device. All right, so with that out of the way, once you have Pangu downloaded, which can be found down below, by the way, you're simply going to open it up after having plugged your device into your computer via a standard USB cable. So again, fifth generation iPod touch here with the lightning USB cable. So let's go ahead and open up Pangu for iOS 8. We're going to click run once you get that prompt. And then from here, it will essentially identify your device. Now it has identified that this is an iPod touch. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. And after having plugged your device in and Pangu has recognized it, I definitely recommend leaving this box at the bottom unchecked. It will just install a third party Chinese distribution platform that you do not need. You will be able to install Cydia at a later date, regardless of whether you have this checked. So in your case, definitely leave it unchecked. I'm going to actually have it checked in this video just so I can show you guys what it installs. We're going to leave it checked and then we're just going to click on the blue button down below. I'm also going to leave my iPod touch up on the display here so you can see it throughout the duration of this jailbreak process. We now have a progress bar inside of Pangu for iOS 8 here and from what I can tell so far it's two-sixths of the way done. Now it says it's four sixths. We had a quick restore screen on the iPod touch here. Don't worry, it's actually not restoring and you will retain your data if you didn't actually perform a fresh restore inside of iTunes, which by the way is recommended. It's recommended that you do it from a fresh and a clean install of iOS 8.1 and then you restore from your backup after the jailbreak has completed. But either way, you will retain your data and that's just customary of Pangu to go through that step. So again, I'm going to leave my device connected here and I'm also going to leave it up so you can see approximately how long this particular jailbreak process should take. We now have a loading bar on the iPod touch here. It actually moved past the sixth portion to another secondary set of steps. So again, just leave it connected and rely on the progress bar since you won't understand the interface. All right, the progress bar has finished on the iPod touch. I actually heard the connecting sound, so it should power up here shortly. And as you can see, we now have the iPod touch up. I'm going to slide to unlock over here and inside of Pangu, it's just stuck at that portion of the progress bar. So I'm going to swipe over here and we're going to tap on Pangu new. It's an icon that should appear on your device. Let's go ahead and get a close up here. As you can see, it says Pangu new on the iPod touch. So I'm going to simply press that and we're going to tap on trust, similar to the previous version of Pangu. So let's go ahead and refocus here. The utility does continue and the progress bar looks like it's finished. So let's wait for the iPod toucher to finish doing its thing and boot back up. All right, I heard another connecting sound, so we should be up shortly on the iPod Touch here. All right, and as you can see, I'm at the lock screen. I'm just going to slide to unlock, 
and we're going to scroll over and we do have two things installed here after the jailbreak. I'm going to go ahead and refocus here and I'll get back to that. All right, and after having refocused again, we do have two things. We have PP, which is a Chinese distribution platform for various pieces of software. I don't recommend installing it at all. I recommend leaving it unchecked, but for the sake of this video, I just checked it for you guys. So again, I don't recommend having PP installed. I highly recommend that you uncheck it during the jailbreak process. And we also have Pangu, which is actually what we're interested in. This is how you will be able to install Cydia once Sarik does update it. Also, we have OpenSSH here, so I'm going to install that really quick. And once we have that installed, I'll be able to SSH into this iPod Touch, which as most of you know, you can't actually do from a non-jailbroken iDevice. So now I have OpenSSH installed on my iPod Touch, which does have a fully untethered jailbreak, by the way. This is just some additional information on Cydia here, telling you that once Sarik updates Cydia and Cydia Substrate, that you will be able to install it via this new Pangu app. So I'm going to actually close out of this, and we're going to SSH into this iPod iPod Touch. I'm going to switch views to my Mac and I'm going to do it in terminal really quick for you guys. All right, now on my iPod Touch here, I'm going to SSH into it and you can do so by opening up the settings app, going into Wi-Fi and then tapping the I by your Wi-Fi name. You'll be able to find the IP address that your device is currently using there. And then inside of terminal, if you're on a Mac, you will be able to SSH into it by typing SSH space ROOT or root and then at the IP address. So in this case, it's 10.0.1.38. And once you've done that, you will simply hit return or enter on your keyboard and it will attempt to SSH into your device, which again, in this case, is my fifth generation iPod Touch here. And then it will ask you to authenticate it. I'm going to type in yes, Y-E-S. And then it will ask for a password. It is always Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, on a newly jailbroken device with open SSH installed unless you change it after the fact. So I'm going to type this in really quick, A-L-P-I-N-E, and there we go, we have root access on the iPod Touch. I'm actually going to zoom in here. So here you go, it does confirm that we have root access on the fifth generation iPod Touch. We are fully SSH'd in now. This is just the proof that this jailbreak does indeed work and it enables root access. So I'm going to close this terminal window and I'm going to say a couple concluding notes. And really quick too is one last piece of advice. If you happen to check the box to install PP when jailbreaking, you can essentially uninstall it by opening up the Pangu app here, going to manager down below at the bottom and just look for the PP app. So I'm going to scroll up here. It should be at the top PP 2.0. And once you've found it, simply tap on the trash icon over to the right hand side. It will ask you if you're sure you wanna delete it. We're going to tap yes because we want to uninstall PP. So now that it's done, I can tap on the respring option down below at the bottom and it will essentially respring the device. Now this isn't by any means Cydia, but this is essentially a graphical user interface for kind of managing the few things that are currently available, which are mostly developer related tools. And of course, PP, which in this case, we are definitely uninstalling. So swiping over here, you will notice that I no longer have PP, I just have Pangu, which can be used in the future to again, install Cydia once it's made available. I cannot stress that enough and just be sure to stay tuned. I will keep you guys fully updated along the way. All right. Alright, so in summary, this jailbreak will further the creation of new tweaks for iOS 8 and the development of Cydia for the latest firmware. It will also allow everyday users to future-proof their device by performing the steps outlined in this guide. I highly recommend jailbreaking now prior to Apple actually releasing a new updated version of iOS 8 to patch the vulnerabilities exploited. So jailbreak now when you can, and once Cydia is made available for iOS 8, I will update you guys and I'll let you guys know what you can do from there and how you'll be able to install it to take full advantage of your newly jailbroken device. Again, this does work on every single iOS 8 based device. And if you guys like this video and you're extremely excited for your untethered jailbreak, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once you've done that, go to bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. After hitting download, press the home button, open 
open the app and if you're on iOS 8, like I'm guessing most of you are, download the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's never even installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. After that, simply download sponsored apps for points and refer friends for even more points. And said points can be used to obtain various prizes, including paid apps, gift cards, and electronic devices. All right, and also I am planning on holding a new giveaway soon. Stay tuned for that. And also let me know what you're most excited about with this new jailbreak in the comment section down below. Again, so many things will come out of this once Cydia is updated to support iOS 8. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you jailbreak. Be sure to click subscribe down below if you're on the main page of this video next to my channel name to be notified immediately once I create new videos covering the updated version of Cydia as well as tweaks for iOS 8. And if you guys wanna be updated more often, again, such as when I create new videos covering things like jailbreaking and even upcoming Apple products like the Apple Watch, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.